today's tutorial we're going to go over Autobrief and how it works. The first thing we've got to do is go ahead and turn on Autobriefs and you can right click on your winter main screen anywhere and click on preferences, go to the miscellaneous tab, put a check mark for Autobrief, we can go in and edit our Autobrief settings. The max outline would be the maximum uh, number of strokes you want Autobrief to analyze and see if there's a shorter one. Uh, we've set a max of five. Hopefully you don't have strokes longer than that. The minimum is two. You can set it to three so it will look so it will look for three or more uh, strokes uh, to analyze. And then the minimum repeat time is how many times you want it to repeat before it actually displays a result. Alright, we we'll click on OK. It's enabled. We'll click on OK again. And then we're going to go ahead and go into real time. I'm going to run this file through a simulator. It's going to go through pretty uh, darn quick. And I'm going to display the steno. It'll probably come by so fast you won't be able to really see it, but I'll put it up anyways. And what we're really trying to display here is that The software where the Autobrief software will go through and, and find your outlines that could be shorter. And I'm going to look for morning here. I'm going to stop it here for a second, go back up to the top, and let's find uh, the first first one, morning. There it is. Now you see that's a two-stroke entry, and you actually have. And if it's green, it's in the personal dictionary, a shorter brief. If it's in yellow, and we're going to look up appropriate, you see that it also is a two-stroke entry, but since, in, but since it is in yellow, that's coming from the um, Auto brief dictionary. And the auto brief dictionary is courtesy of uh, Mark Kisslingberry. Thank you very much. And so what it will do is just as it goes through and it sees that you've got uh, these shorter briefs in either your dictionary or the auto brief dictionary, it's going to display them. If they become displayed, you are now eligible to use any one of these as you write. So the moment they become displayed, then the auto brief dictionary, the personal Dictionary, of course, is yours, but anything from the Auto Brief D Dictionary um, is available. And if you write appropriate the way you see it here, it will uh, translate out. So that's a pretty um, awesome, powerful feature, um, and hopefully, you know, save you s your hands and uh, make you a faster, better writer. Um, it would be interesting to see how many people's um, real-time stats actually change once they start using this, and we'll go turn it on so you give you a little bit of a reminder of what real-time stats are. And what real-time stats allow you to do, of course, is view your current words per minute, your average words per minute, and your fastest words per minute, and then of course your, the total words that you've written uh, to the cursor point. And I uh, wonder if uh, people will actually see a, a really good improvement, and that's really what everyone's looking for. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.